Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today is a super requested video. I have been asked numerous times to see my collection, see my beauty space, all of this, and I finally did it. Now the reason why I didn't do it for a while was because I kind of felt like there is nothing super special about my space. It's not really nice. It's not, it's like pieces I just kind of put together. But then I just kind of realized that's me. You know, this is my reality. I have dust all over things. There's like foundation prints from my fingers and all the use that this thing gets. I mean, I use this space at least once, if not three times a day. So it's got some love to it, but that's me. So I decided I would show you guys. And, but you know, I started my collection with like four or five things. And I had this piece that my husband made for me. It looked like a, like a frame and it was all black and it was magnetic. So I would put like, I had my naked palette, warm soul blush and um, soft and gentle, of course. And I had that magnetized, so I had magnets on the back of them, and it was just in the bathroom. So it really didn't take up too much space. Well, then I really started getting into it, and my husband was like, you need to get this out of the bathroom. Like, there was no room at all. I had stuff everywhere. So I got the desk, and then I got another piece and another piece. And it's kind of slowly become what it is now. Um, but yeah, sure, I would love to have a makeup room one day. Like, you know, the beauty gurus, and they've got, like, their perfect setup. I'm so jealous. Like, I don't want that. But in due time, it will come. But for now, this is my reality. This is what makes me happy. And I decided I would share it with you guys. So this is the space that I film. I'm going to show you what's in my drawers. No, this isn't all the makeup that I have, you know, bought over the years, but if I don't use it, I feel like it needs to go to a happy home, so that's what I do. Um, or if I hate it, I do bring stuff back if I really don't like it. Um, but this is, this is it. So if you want to see how I store my things, where I film, and what it all looks like, just keep watching. Okay guys, this is the setup right here. Um, as you can see, nothing fancy. I have no box lights or anything like that. I have just two lamps that were $12 from Walmart, <laughs> and that is what I use to light up the sides of me, and then my glam core right there, which I absolutely love. Um, my desk just came from a friend. Her sister had it, was giving it away, and I was like, yes, I can use that. So I can do, um, get all my makeup out of my, where did I have it? <laughs> I actually had it on the wall in the bathroom. So nothing fancy, it's just a little bit distressed. And then even more so distressed after all the torture I have put it through. And then to the right of it, I have just a nightstand. And down below underneath here, I, this is where I keep like all my skincare and then I have backups like, oh, look at that La Mer right there. And then this top drawer are the palettes that won't fit in my other drawer. So these I grab for a lot. These are my Makeup Geek and then the Anastasia shadows and then Feather River Body and Natasha Denona. On top, I have one of those lipstick towers. I actually hate this one. If I could change it out, I would. I'm going to get one like the other one. Um, this, they just don't fit very well, as you can see. I have my lip liners down below. These are just ones that I grab for a lot, so like <laughs> all my MAC ones that I use the most. And then some Charlotte Tilbury, and then my favorite of the lip tensity. Behind there, I have this metal piece that I got from Pier 1 Imports. This was like 10 years ago. And it's metal, so I have on the backs of some of my shadows just magnets. So if I want to use some of my Dazzle shadows, they're right beside my chair. The chest of drawers to the left is from Kohl's. I think I paid like a hundred and maybe twenty or forty dollars. It was on sale. It keeps going back and forth. You know how Kohl's is. Um, so I'm gonna go through this. Behind here, I do have two of the um, Melt Shadow Stack 
things with his love sick and dark matter. I just put the pictures up there. This guy I love. Like it's perfect. And my mom got this for me for my birthday. So shout out to my mom. Okay, top drawer. What do we have in here? Ah. In here I have a bunch of MAC pigments. And then I have some of the the bomb pigments, some things from Star Crush Metals. This is just like my drawer of pigments and then eyeliners, loose shadows, eye glosses, a bunch of eye stuff. And this right here is actually, <laughs> this is a utensil holder, but they work so perfectly in drawers. Like I paid 10 bucks for these. They stretch out. So like if I can get further back here, uh, there's actually more room, but I can't fit anything else back there because the drawer doesn't come out that far. Um, and I got that from Walmart. So you know how expensive those acrylic things are. See, there's another one. You spend $30 on one organizer and it's just not worth it to me. Okay, so the second drawer is more eye stuff. I have liners here. I have uh, MAC paint pots here. I have like more of the eye glosses. This is from Butter London. And then like the Tom Ford creams. And then pigments that were like limited that I got samples of. <laughs> I'm so strange. And then back behind here, if I pull out a little further, I have more these little doohickeys to be able to put more pigments in. And then my flash palette, just a bunch of eye stuff really. Next drawer again is, if you can't tell, <laughs> eye stuff is my favorite. So I have a bunch of the small palettes from MAC. I have, these are the mineralized palettes from MAC and then that's limited edition. I have some of my smaller palettes here and here and here. And then these are just a bunch of brushes that I want to have close if I want to use them, but I don't use them a lot. Like this guy being in here is crazy because I used to use that every single day. This drawer, again, we have more eye stuff, go figure, but I'm kind of proud of this. Again, I was looking online at um, like the little stacks you can put your palettes in and it was $25 and I think it held, I don't know, like five or six. These are just letter holders and I literally glued them in here. So there's two here and two here and then a space in between. And so I can get to my palettes so much easier. And then I have two back there as well. And yeah, so then next drawer. These are blushes, highlighters, and do I have, yeah, and some bronzers. So front row is gonna be the ones that I use the most, like if I wanna grab for something. And then back row, those are blushes that I don't use as often. And we've got like the middle ground here, which that's not even true, because I use this one all the time. Um, and then we have powders and bronzers bronzers in this one and again you can see a silver thing like I love them. And this is what I really consider to be my blush and contour drawer. So I have all my blushes in the singles like the ones that aren't in and this <laughs> I actually detached it from one of those holders up top. These are all the blushes that I can't put in a holder like one of these guys that I use the most, so like my Chanel ones, oh, love them. And then liquid highlighters, bronzer, not bronzers, contour and highlight and <laughs> blush, like this Jaclyn Hill one. And then all of these are contour or blush palettes right there. Last drawer in this, I have my lip glosses here, and I do have more, but they're in my bathroom and a whole separate thing. <laughs> and then I've got liquid lipsticks, and I kind of just stack them on top of each other and more liquid lipsticks again they're stacked but just makes it easy to get to moving over to the desk drawers so this top drawer is a little interesting i have like all of my either cleaning things my sponges things that i need to like clean up an eye or this is my brush cleanser it says h2o on it because i used to have water in it but now it's my brush cleanser paper towels and I have scissors underneath there sponges of course and then any extra mascara so these ones i will still use but i don't use as often as my top drawer which I know this is top drawer, but I'm talking about up here. 
Okay, second drawer in my desk, I have all my loose powders. They're misbehaving, moving around. And then I have my favorite bronzer because I want it right beside my chair. <laughs> I have my favorite eyeliner, so the ones that I'm going to grab for the most. This is my Latisse. This is supposed to be over here with all my primers and setting sprays, but it just doesn't fit. So it's over here by itself. These, it's so weird. I don't know why I necessarily have these in here, but these are the brushes I grab if I want to put one in my purse. So they're here, and then if I need one, I'll grab it and put it in a bag for my purse. And then, of course, I have my opened La Mer powder because that's my baby. Bottom drawer. <laughs> All of my foundations are in this thing right here. And then I've got my... Uh, cotton pads from Shiseido, my makeup wipes, that's just a container from MAC, and then all of my lashes in this one. Okay, so on top of my vanity, I have some dirty brushes up here. They just, I don't clean my face brushes every day. I clean them like once a week. This guy right here, I clean every time I use it. So I always hang it like this so that there's nothing getting up top to like ruin it and then this is what I consider like my go-to's so top drawer these are all of my favorite brow products and then my soft ochre paint pot because that can't be too far away from me and then I have my concealer drawer I just have all my concealers in one drawer even if I really just use this one <laughs> but I just like them close to me just in case because sometimes if I'm going to do something that doesn't matter I'm not going to use my favorite because I don't want it to run out. Last drawer is I have another primer in here. Um, these are like my go-to primers the ones that like the other ones I kind of switch out. These like I'm going to use Skin Refined Zone every day and my Makeup Forever one was up here but when I store it flat it gets like this weird oily film so I don't do that but that's that drawer. More brushes and then this is actually from Matco Tools. Yes it really is. It's a teeny tiny little toolbox like teeny size of my hand. Um, top drawer diffused light from Hourglass. These are things I just want to be able to get my hands on super quick. This is Hourglass diffuse, no, luminous bronze light and then brilliant strobe light. This one's empty right now and then all of my favorite mascaras and that one. I keep this leopard print blanket and then that zebra print little um, rug there just so that I don't end up with red lipstick in my carpet or you know like shavings from liners, anything. They end up in the carpet and that's a big deal so we don't want to do that. Um, and then I don't know if there's anything else to really talk about. Oh, I do have, I'm so goofy. I have to have my Mac bag there. Look how dirty my desk is, like for real. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have to have my Mac bag there because that is what I like to put my trash in and it has to be a Mac bag. I'm so weird. And then for my lighting, this is a glam core and see if I can show you guys and it like eh, touch. It goes brighter and lighter. It's freaking awesome. I love this thing. And then this is where I put my camera. So anytime that I'm filming these lights, I put them up higher and then my camera's right there. So, yep. That is it, guys. I don't think there's really anything else to talk about. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.